Hi, my name's Adam Chapman. I'm a Waka Waka man from Eidsvold, born and bred, uh, and um, my family comes from the uh, Sherberg, Wandai, uh, Eidsvold region. Hi, I'm Anne, proud Coomer woman. Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm from Blue Card Services. So this is a video on no card, no start, and what it means. I've been meaning to call you. A few ladies in my craft group would like to volunteer at the school, teaching the kids art and craft. That's exciting, Anne. The kids will love that. The school said the ladies need to get blue cards. Got me blue card last year. But I've heard there's been lots of changes to blue cards. Yes, we've made some changes to the blue card system to make it better. Better for you and better for kids. Sounds like a lot has happened. What do these changes mean? The biggest change is that anyone can apply for their blue card. You can apply for a blue card before you have an employer. It now means you can be job ready. We also changed the way you can apply for a blue card. We've made the application process more secure. It is now linked in with the Department of Transport and Main Roads. You can also apply for your blue card online rather than using the paper form. So this is part of the no card, no start laws? That's right. Does that mean I can't start work straight away? That's right, Anne. Once you have applied, you need to wait until your card has been issued before you can start working. Is that difficult for paid employees? We've made some changes to the application process. So applications for people who have no police information should be issued within five business days. And what about volunteers? Volunteers, students, and people who run their own business have always needed to wait for their card before starting. This hasn't changed. When you say police information, what does that mean? Well, Anne, when a person applies for a blue card, we send away for a national criminal history check. We call it police information. So how long will it take to get a blue card if someone does have police information? The application will take longer because we need to make sure the person is eligible to work with kids. We have lots of information available on our website and we are here to help with these applications. So if someone needs help with their application, they're not sure what to do, what can they do? They can give us a call. We are here to help. So what happens if someone put their application in before the changes happen? Does that mean they need to stop work until they get their blue card? No, Anne. If they submitted a paid application to us before No Card No Start began, they can continue to work. If their application was submitted after No Card No Start started, they need to follow the new laws. Will the volunteers have to pay for their blue card? No. Volunteer and student applications are free, but they will need to be linked to an organisation. Thanks for telling me about the changes. I'll tell the ladies to apply for their blue cards today. Bad, 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 bad.